but uh, as we see here, um, this is perfectly good for tiling. Um, if you were to um, uh, render out this, you know, single frame and put it into Maya or something, that where you're able to tile the texture or bring it to Photoshop and you know duplicate it, it would tile perfectly um, because the very first ray uh, would line up on the outside of the very right edge. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about when when I'm referring to tiling. Um, but there's another way of doing it where um, having, so say you want to have a white bar going down this side too, uh, for whatever reason you you want to have it there. Um, the thing would be is that, um, uh, let's see here, the thing would be when you would tile it, you would have a double white line here, so it would be double, double thick and it would look really awkward. Um, but the way to get around that is to cut this uh, solid piece in half, which would mean you'd have to have it half half off the composition and half on the composition. So on this side here, you would have one of these bars half on the composition, half off the composition. So when it would be tiled, you'd have two half solids, put them together, it would look like one solid piece. Slightly confusing, but you'll see what I mean as we go along. And uh, how, I, how I'm going to rig this up, it will be most likely be usable in other expressions or other problems that you might face. <clears throat> so let's get rid of these these layers here and let's go back into my anchor point and the first thing you want to do is reset the anchor point which is set to zero on the x-axis and we're going to reset it to 512 which is halfway in the solid and you notice immediately the solid moves over so it's half on the composition and half off the composition. That's That's what we want. So now let's go and duplicate our solid again. Duplicate it eight times. Okay, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, basically what happened so far, it's exactly the same thing as we had before, except because the anchor point was moved halfway into the solid, everything is just slightly shifted over uh, compared to how we had it originally. So let me put one more in. And if you notice, we've got a half, you know, half uh, solid here. It's half in and half out of the composition. But the thing is, you know, there's nine rays here, but on our ray total, it's set to eight. Well, let's set it to nine. That just shifts everything over, and we lose that uh, that one solid. <coughs> now this can be a little, be a little bit irritating because you have nine solids but it has to be set to 8, you know, for a total. And that can get slightly confusing, you know, if you, you know, leave this project go for a few months and you come back and you, you just can't remember why, what's going on. So in order to fix that, uh, we're going to uh, uh, make sure you're in your, your null object, right-click, go to Expression Controls, and make a new slider. And we're going to rename this to, excuse me, Ray Final. And we're going to plug the ray total into the ray final and um, do a little expression work. So when you punch in 9 it will, nine for the ray final, it'll evaluate here as to seeing it as 8 rays. And you'll see in a second. So we have 9 rays, but in a total of 8. So let's get rid of all these solids again. And let's go, I'm sorry, my bad, we want to go into the null object. Let's close right up here, go to the null object. Excuse me, uh, hit the U, U button twice to get all of our um, expression sliders here. And uh, what we want to do, let's see here, ray final, hmm. we're missing the ray final. Let's reopen it. There we go. Okay, so what we have to do is uh, we're going to re rely on the ray final as the actual um, um, counter for, for our ray total. So you'll see what I mean here in a second. So we're going to take our in, our, in our clamp expression, highlight effect ray total slider, 
and then pick whip ray final slider. Okay. So now in our ray final, whatever what number we evaluate at will show up in the ray total. Of course, if we go down to negative 20, because the ray total is clamped between 1 and 360, we're not going to, you know, the ray total is not going to do anything. So let me bring this down to 8. Actually, let's bring it to 9. So now the ray, ray total is 9. Now the thing is, we've got to fix it here. So when the ray, ray final is 9, the ray total is 8. So we have to have the ray final one more than the ray total. So what we have to do here is make the ray uh, ray final slider one less minus one. So now we will look at the ray final. We have nine rays equals. Uh, okay, I'm starting to actually confuse myself. So we have nine rays, and it's being evaluated in the ray total as eight. Okay, so we actually have nine rays, but in order to get our positioning correct, we have to have the total actually eight rays, set to eight rays. So we'll see we'll see here in a second. So go to our rays, duplicate nine times. So we have here, let's go into our null. So we have nine rays spaced evenly, but it has to be set to a total of eight in order to get the half, the two half uh, uh, rays. Now the reason why it's set to eight is because we have these two halves equal one, even though they're two whole rays. The composition is taking a look at it and seeing is only halves. So let's close up the ray total, and we don't even have to look at that because when we punch in nine rays, it'll be evaluated in the ray total as eight rays. If we punch in you know, one more, go to our null, we've got nine rays, ten rays in here now, punch in ten, it'll spread everything out evenly, even though ray total was evaluating as one ray less. I hope to God you guys aren't so confused, because <laughs> I'm pretty much confused myself, but um, those of you who aren't too confused to probably understand what I'm what I'm talking about. Um, but this is kind of like a long way around or just a different way of looking at, at something. So um, I'm going to cut it off here and I'm going to jump back to the original one and we're going to finish off this, this little project. So, Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next cut.